About three months ago, we got invited to a, a wushu competition in Jining by the school, or by the competition and the school, as students to participate. And the masters told us that it's a great way to increase the skills because practicing for a competition is way better for your skill level than just practicing for yourself. Um, so everybody who's sitting here now competed and yeah, we want to share some information about this competition. When we came uh, there, there was an opening ceremony. Some people did some um, Kung Fu. One guy broke like 20 bricks with his, uh, the palm of his hand and the front of his hand and just boom, 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 just continued like it was nothing. And it was really cool because Danny and me um, also had to go in the opening ceremony. But we didn't know, so like um, maybe 10 minutes before we had to go off stage, uh, Master Du said, Oh, you guys got to do the opening ceremony, just uh, do some uh, Kung Fu. Ah, okay, I didn't prepare anything, don't know what to do. So, and then they said like, Oh, our friends, Danny and uh, Gideon, come off stage. And we were like, Oh, what are we going to do? I don't know what to do. And uh, we ended up going off stage and just standing there and they talk in Chinese, don't have a clue what the hell they're saying, just they're like, Okay, uh, when are we gonna start? What am I supposed to do? Still thinking. That was really fun, you know. And then we did some stuff, and it was it was a good experience. And everything together was just amazing. And I think it was really nice to share this with everyone and improve each other and yourself. And yeah, just amazing. Yeah, I think uh, Gideon forgot to mention that they didn't know what to do in the opening ceremony. Gideon was doing a form, he did it really nice, and then Danny was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I don't know if he knew what he was doing, but he started like with a, uh, with a front flip or a back flip, and then he just fell off the stage, and everybody was like, well, what happened? And then Danny just opened up, uh, stand up, and jumped to the stage again, and like, yeah, I'm okay, and still like jumping. I think it was a lot of improvisation, um, including the pressure. I mean, we did were a bit relaxed, but at the same time nervous. So I think pretty much everyone did beat the mistakes, although we could um, improvise it, like I said before. I remember I was so nervous before coming to the competition because they said that it was in the stadium there and I pictured it as being this huge competition where you're in the middle and everyone's watching you do your form and I was so nervous going in and as soon as we got in there it was just a small gymnasium with three different stages of people performing at the same time so it was a lot of stress was taken off as soon as you got there. I, also, I felt the same way and like what, what kind of re helped me relaxing as well was the fact that we were like as as white people we were just famous, and, you know. Like, and I got like I thought, okay, like even if my performance might not be that good, people will still be ex excited to see like a white person like doing their the yeah something that is like related to their culture, you know, like it's a Chinese culture. I did uh, Da Hong form and Shaolin grading fist. Um, I did. I practiced both of them in Germany. So um, even though I just had like three weeks to prepare, I felt more or less comfortable, like as comfortable as you can get. Um, my Da Hong form was all right. Like um, I did it better than in the grading here one week before. So I was quite satisfied with that. The Shaolin grading fist. Yeah, I was one of the four people together with Gideon, and it was like a total mess. Like we were all super confused and. Um, I just don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I did Tong Bay fist form and continuous fist, and I was recovering from bronchitis during the competition, so I was having a lot of problems breathing during my forms. And I thought I did really badly, but afterwards people came up to me and said it wasn't as bad as you thought. And I don't know, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I performed seven star fist form with Gideon and Rich Richie on stage. Quite short form, so it wasn't too bad for me. I did better before. I could see this on the on the videos we took. The double broadside I performed, I 
borrowed the broad swords from another student and he glued all the pieces together. That was good for me because um, halfway through the form, the screw that holds all the pieces together went off and I would have lost the whole sword if, if he didn't glue it together. So um, this was quite lucky. I did Chajon, which is a fist form that I learned like five months ago. So I didn't really try to train that much in that form. And my second broadsword that I performed, uh, I wanted to challenge myself, so um, I wanted a new form. And my master just started teaching me one month before the competition, or one month ago before the competition. So that stressed me a lot. I was, uh, like I said, I was training extra. And even he finished teaching me the last part of, like the ending part, four days before the competition and in the end as well I realized that my details and my fist form were not perfect so but in the end I just made a lot of mistakes but it, it was okay it was a nice experience. Uh, as with my fellow competitor Jonathan I did as the first step form in the Tombe and uh, yeah, I feel like I did pretty well, uh, given the fact that I was doing we were doing a staff form together on the, on the stage, and we finished at the exact same time, which I think was pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, but um, it was it was limited space, so my stances could could have been a little wider and a little better. But overall, I think we did pretty well. Even him, I think he did all right too. <laughs> I'm a cannon face and Tom Bay and it was really interesting how you feel the pressure there in the competition. Sometimes when you do it alone you feel like really confident and when you are there like my mind was blank. Forget some movements and some steps in a form that I have been practicing a long time but it's good to feel that pressure. So I think that the experience was amazing and the forms weren't pretty okay. I feel, yeah, I feel it was good. So when I did my form, I did Black Tiger fist form and Roy Long fist form. Uh, I felt pretty okay, I guess. I uh, made a mistake in my Black Tiger, lost my balance, hopped around a little bit. It was fun to see, but it cost me quite a bit of points, I think. But it was still really fun to do and was good. My Roy Long fist, I did it with four people on stage. It was really uncomfortable. I looked at the other people, started doing their forms, halfway my own form, and it was absolute garbage. But it was fun, so had a good experience. I did one form, continuous form, the first form that I learned. I got really secure about the space, and uh, but honestly there was enough space to do the form. I was more nervous than uh, insecure about what to do. Didn't like my performance, but when I watched it, I thought that it was not that bad that I imagined. But it was a great experience. I did uh, the first staff form I learned, and then I did the Tom Day for the competition. I was pretty nervous. I thought I was going to be nervous to freeze up when I got up there, but it was actually pretty relaxing to do it because the masters weren't the ones grading it, so it felt good. I thought I did really good. Um, I improved it drastically. So it was a bit stressful, but it was all worth it in the end because we get there, we get a bit more relaxed, we see the level of other people. There was, like he said, uh, kids that were so good in Kung Fu, very impressive. Uh, tai Chi masters, all our masters also competed. It was a nice experience and very gratificated. Yeah, one of the things that I could uh, observe was like the mixed feelings that we have there. Like uh, we got insecure, we got like a little bit uh, nervous, but every one of us supporting each other, uh, giving our best just to do it, you know, not to win or lose, but give our best. And it was pretty amazing, like motivated us to keep practicing our Kung Fu. Well, I guess very important to thank our masters because they were really supportive and going through the details and patient and I think we had a lot of support for the masters. The experience was cool, but what I really liked is that it forced me to be more mindful of my body position during doing the forms, which has greatly improved my training and my ability to do stuff. After the second form, I had some of the 
older guys had she guys come up and you know ah, good good and that was cool because like for two months you're training you're freaking out the whole time it's just like they point out every mistake so you get better and you got people that you're trying to beat <laughs> so there's even more pressure but when you get there, like he was saying, it's, it's, it's humanized. Like they actually, it was like a friendly environment. Everyone was always coming up and talking and saying you did good. And then you see these older guys swinging some of these big things around and then making little mistakes. I mean, nothing major, but still, like you can see it in their face, the disappointment or slamming it too hard. And it really made it a lot easier because like we're just a bunch of non-Chinese people here. Then to actually see the Chinese people mess up too. It, made it easier. I appreciated the most was just to experience um, the sense for the community, like, I mean, I guess a lot of Westerners, they, when they think about Kung Fu, they always have this mythical life uh, in their head, like living in a temple in the mountains, working hard, like your whole life dedicating to Kung Fu, and like seeing like that it's also like the like in a normal life like especially the old people I felt like they they share their hobby the, uh, together like in a big community with their hobby they're practicing for probably most of their life and um, I enjoyed that like getting a taste of what they what those guys are actually sharing and um, yeah, I mean the the young kids it's nothing like they're really crazy like it was it was impressive but like nine years old kids they could jump around i got really impressed with the like more, more experienced uh, students here how close they are of the chinese performers you know when they say that we're gonna compete against chinese people we got a little bit scared and said oh, nothing's gonna happen we're just gonna perform and that's it and when you see like Danny, Gideon, they are here longer performing and you see the other Chinese people you see that they are not far away you know they can do it we can do it what they what the Chinese guys do we just have to train harder as harder as they train you know I think what I liked the most about the competition was that you pushed yourself that far and um, you could see all the crazy weapons because most most of the time when when uh, you're training here uh, you get um, you get the ideas for learning weapon forms or fist forms from all the students um, and there you saw weapons I mean most of the time traditional weapons but what I think was really cool I saw one guy performing a shovel form <laughs> that was uh, yeah really funny um, because of, obviously it's not a traditional form, but um, yeah, it's the Shaolin way to fight with whatever you have, so it was nice.
recommend this place definitely to anyone that wants to go above and beyond.